are some notes on intussusception, first to the pathophysiology and epidemiology. Intussusception is caused when one segment of the bowel telescopes into an adjacent segment, and it most often happens at the ileocecal junction. This results in bowel edema, which can result in ischemia and necrosis. Most commonly occurs in patients that are six months to three years old. Risk factors for intussusception include having hypertrophy of the intestinal pyre patches. This results after recent viral illness. You are also at risk if you have a pathologic lead point, like a Meckel diverticulum, Heinlochschlein and purpura, or an intestinal tumor. Signs and symptoms of, of intussusception include sudden intermittent abdominal pain and vomiting, having a sausage-shaped mass in the right abdomen, having current jelly stools, bright red stools that look like current jelly. Patient might also be lethargic or have altered mental status. To treat this, you first want to start with an ultrasound where you see a target lesion. You can then do an air enema, also called a pneumatic enema, or a saline enema, and that can be both diagnostic and therapeutic for intussusception. Lastly, in severe cases, you want to do surgical intervention for a failed enema reduction or for signs of abdominal peritonitis.